Hi, I'm Brenda Quintana, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute Hershey's Christmas tree out of cardstock. The supplies you'll need for this project are some Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue. You'll need some sticky strip. You'll need a bone folder. You'll need some red stitch grow grain. You'll need some Stampin' Up! cardstock because it's really sturdy. I've got garden green and chocolate chip here. You'll need a straight edge cutter and a scoring tool. Last but not least, you're going to need some Hershey's Kisses and some Hershey's Nuggets. Okay, let's get started. To start off, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 10 and 1 8 by 2 inches. On the long side, we're going to score at 3 and a quarter, 6 and a half, and nine and three quarters. Then on the short side, we're going to score at one inch. You can set your scoring tool aside for a moment. And what we're going to do is first we're going to fold this piece of cardstock in half on the long side. Open it back up. And we're going to put a bead of glue all the way along the length of the cardstock. We're going to seal these two sides together. So bring it together. Best way to seal it is if you can burnish your cardstock with your bone folder. That really helps. Some of the glue came out at the end there. But this really helps to seal the cardstock together. Now we're going to fold this into a triangle. So fold on the score line here, on that score, score line there, and then we've got this little bitty tab end over here. And on this tab end over here we're going to put some more glue. That's probably a little much, but I want to have a really good seal because this is going to have to hold the weight of the um, kisses. Okay, I'm gonna just take my tissue and wipe off the excess glue here. Hope you can see that. It might be a little leaking on the inside. Okay, we'll put this to the bottom. Okay, so there is the outer frame of your um, tree. You can set that aside for a moment. And then you're going to need your scoring tool again. And this time, we're going to start with a piece of cardstock that is 11 inches by 2 inches. And this time, let's remove these markers so we don't get confused here. Okay, and this time, we are going to score on every inch mark. Okay, so score at 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inches. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, this time instead of scoring in half, we're going to cut in half. So you can set, take your scoring tool and put it aside again. And um, here is my Stampin' Up um, trimmer. And we're going to cut this along the one inch mark. Make sure it's lined up nicely at one inches. Okay, that looks good. And we're going to cut this in half and then you can take one of these strips and put it aside and then the other one, one of them you're going to cut at the four inch mark. Okay, so you put your cutter aside and now just take a look. We've got a four inch um, strip, a seven inch strip, and an 11 inch strip. Okay, and we can bring our frame back into the picture. And what we're going to do is we're going to create triangles uh, with a strip. You may have bent a strip into zigzags, but we're going to actually bend them into triangles. Okay, and we're going to fit these triangles into um, the base. So I'm just kind of showing you here how um, I've created kind of instead of zigzags a triangular strip. 
once you've got that, you can fit that into your base. And don't worry if it looks kind of funny right now. It will look better later. Then we're going to take our 7 inch jump and we're going to do the same thing. Start by folding into triangles. Triangles, triangles. This one has three. You're going to scoot that into here. Into your frame. And then the last strip has four. So we're going to start again by forming a triangle. And this one's just going to flip over like this. Okay. And this one's going to fit into the top spot right there. Okay. Just kind of move those around until they have nine little spaces. And then you're going to take your Hershey's Kisses. I'm going to use Red Kisses and just start popping them into the plate into place. These strips aren't actually physically glued in, but what they are is they are um, they provide extra bulk to hold your little kisses in place. So um, it doesn't take you very long to fold them, but um, it's what kind of keeps them from moving around too much. Okay, so you just keep popping in all the little kisses in there, and finally one at the top. It's going to be a little stubborn. Let's give it a little shove. Okay, great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, an 18 inch length of uh, red stitch grain and I'm going to tie it around my base just to give it a little bit of, um, I don't know, a festive spirit. Okay, and there we go. We've got a cute little um, treetop. Okay, now for the trunk piece. To start off, we need a piece of cardstock that is five and three quarter inches by two inches. On the long side, we're going to score at the one inch mark, the two and three eighths inch mark, the three and three eighths inch mark, and the four and three quarter inch mark. Then we're going to turn this on its side. On the short side, we're going to score at the one inch mark. You can set your piece aside here. And then we're going to fold this along lengthwise, open it back up, and again we're going to take this um, Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue and we're going to put glue down it, put it on its side, and we're going to burnish it with our bone folder. Blue. Okay, and then we're going to fold it together to form a rectangle. Okay, these pieces are going to overlap. Oops, and wonky little rectangle. There we go. And then we're just going to put some adhesive on one of the pieces and we're going to bring it together. And you just want to, it's sliding around a bit, you just want to hold it there for a few seconds to make sure you've got good contact. Want that cardstock to seal together. Okay. All right. And then you can put this down and grab yourself a couple of. Hershey's Nuggets. These are the cool Christmas ones. And um, slip that in there like that. You can see I've just kind of piled two on uh, top of each other like that. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to adhere um, uh, this base, the trunk of the tree, to the um, the top part of our tree. So I'm going to use sticky strip this time because if you notice here I've got um, grow green running down here and so I'm going to want to have it stick here and here. Okay so I'm going to take a piece 
piece right there. So I'm going to put it on either side and not down the middle. You do want it on both sides though because you want it to hold together and not fall apart. Okay. Make sure you burnish this with a bit with your finger just before you try and lift it up. Let's try the other end. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to line up those two sticky spots on either side of our tree. Try and make sure you've got it pretty much centered. And then you're gonna, might be easier to do this without the nuggets in there, but you can just kind of squeeze the two sides together a little bit. And I've added a little um, Merry Christmas tag and there you go, you have a finished uh, Christmas tree. Um, I hope you like this uh, project. If you would like to see more of my projects, please visit me at qbsquest.com. Bye for now.